The number one reason why you might get the red screen of death with a plugin inside of Final Cut Pro is typically a versioning issue, specifically two numbers, an OZML number and a display version number. These numbers just sit inside of your motion template. They let Final Cut Pro know, hey, is it okay to run in this version of Final Cut Pro? And more often than not, just by changing these two numbers to your current version of Final Cut Pro, as long as your version of Final Cut Pro has all of the tools available inside of that template, it will fix this problem. And so that's what set me up a month ago to release my first ever app called my motion template version fixer. <laughs> Let's just say it was a learning experience. Before I launched it, I tried it on as many computers as I had access to. I sent it to as many friends as I could to do some beta testing, but it wasn't enough because there were loads and loads of you who could not get this app open. It was a little chaotic, but I do have to give a big shout out to all of you because you guys were so gracious. You hung in there with me. You didn't come at me with pitchforks and knives, even though you had every right to. That version of the app, it's gone. We have moved on to a greater era. I have rebuilt this entire app. And so this video is focused on everything new inside of version 1.2 of the motion template version fixer. The first and biggest update is, of course, like I just said, it's been rewritten from the ground up. I was in Python. I'm now using Swift UI. This is a way better experience. It's been so much faster and it massively shrinks the app size down. Previously, it was 250 megabytes. Now it's only four. So that's an incredible advantage, especially if you're really tight on storage. And that does lead me to a huge shout out to Chris Hawking over at Late Night. Oh, I could not have done this without Chris. Chris is an amazing filmmaker and developer. He has made some of the most incredible apps for Final Cut Pro. Stuff like Command Post, which is one of the best workflow extensions ever for Final Cut Pro, and it's completely free. Another one of those is B-Raw Toolbox, which is kind of the only way you can work with black magic footage inside of Final Cut Pro. And most recently, Chris also released Meta Burner, which is for all of those really professional and maybe even just a little bit nerdy Final Cut Pro editors who need to burn the metadata of their videos directly into their footage. He's really just such a giving person who really wants to help the Final Cut Pro community. So please go check out the links down below. Go support Chris if you're able to. That would mean a ton to me. I have so much gratitude for all the help he provided here on this app. So with all that out of the way, let's take a look at the actual visual updates of the app. Number one, we have a brand new app icon. The old one was really ugly. I wasn't super happy with it. So I landed on this design and I'm really loving it. Number two is there are a ton of UI visual updates. For example, we have this elegant little glow happening. Super unnecessary, but very fun. Let's go ahead and import some templates. I'll just bring in my effects. And just like that, we have loaded in 990 templates. So previously that probably would have taken around 10 seconds or so. Now it's nearly instantaneous. We can quickly see over this whole list, all of our different templates. We can right click on them. We can remove them individually. We can also right click and select show in finder, and that will bring it up here directly inside of Finder. In the bottom left, you'll notice I have a whole bunch of backup options. So if you don't want to backup, you can go ahead and uncheck that box. But what's handy about the backups is now the whole system is perfectly integrated into the app. Previously, it was a really barbaric system, let's say. It was pretty rough around the edges. So it was very manual, not pretty. Now everything is done for you. Let's say, for example, I wanna update all of these over. I'm gonna just press update and we'll press continue. That will update all of the templates for me. And if we take a look here on the left, we can see that those have been added to the backups folder. But maybe I realized later on down the road, this completely broke all of my templates. Maybe I've even closed the app, which is not good. Well, we can select restore from backup and now we can see all of the different backups available to us. So you can see I made one earlier today while I was filming, but I also made one just right now. It's gonna go through, find all the matching templates for us and allow us to restore those. So I'll just press restore. And just like that, we have restored all of these templates really, really quickly. Additionally, with some more research, I got a better understanding of the version numbers. And so that kind of is driving the automatic Final Cut Pro detection. If you don't know what version you need for your specific version of Final Cut Pro, you can go ahead and click on this suggested version. 
And now we have this handy list. So you can see all of the OZML and display versions over here on the right, what they should be for that version of Final Cut. And to save you another click, all you need to do is just click over here and that will go ahead and automatically set that up for you. So this is handy if your version of Final Cut Pro isn't properly detected you can just go ahead and use that little list. Additionally, I added a light and dark mode. So by default, it's going to be dark mode. But if you want to, you can go up to appearance and set it to light mode if you're crazy and you really enjoy being blinded at all times of day. There's also some additional keyboard shortcuts. So we can come up here. We can see that we can import motion templates with command I. We can also restore from backup with command shift R. Then over in the help menu, I've also added a special link over to Chris at late night. Again, I can't thank him enough for all the help you provided on this app. So please, if you're able to go support Chris, he makes amazing tools for Final Cut Pro. And so that wraps up the most important fixes for this app. Of course, there's a lot of under the hood bug fixes and stuff like that. But overall, those are the exciting new features. If you're interested in picking up this app, there are links down below. It's just $5. Again, I'm just using ChatGPT to do a lot of the development on this. So for every four people that pick this app up, I'm able to do another month of development on it.